the NFL season just one month away, and I can't be more excited. Today, I'm going to be reviewing and predicting every single team's season in alphabetical order. Last video was the Baltimore Ravens, which means that this video is the Buffalo Bills. It's been a pretty quiet offseason for the Bills. They released wide receiver Cole Beasley, but signed Jamison Crowder as his replacer. They also signed back Shaq Lawson to a one-year deal and even drafted Dalvin Cook's brother, James Cook. Last season ended in a heartbreak for the Bills and possibly one of the greatest playoff games of all time, but it's a new year and I have high hopes for Buffalo, so let's go week by week. Week 1, the Bills kick off the entire 2022 NFL season in Los Angeles against defending Super Bowl champions LA Rams. This game can obviously go either way. However, I feel like coming off a Super Bowl victory, everyone will be expecting the Rams to get this done at home. But I believe the Bills are determined, especially how they lost last season. And Josh Allen is on an absolute mission and will be looking for this huge statement win. Bills W. Week 2, another primetime game for the Bills, and this time they face the Titans. Last year, the Titans barely edged one out against them, winning by just a field goal. This year, I believe the Titans' offense has gone worse, with A.J. Brown gone and even Julio Jones. It's the Bills' home opener, so I'm giving the Bills another win here. Week 3, the Bills travel down south to play division rivals the Dolphins. Listen, I don't care that the Dolphins made some trades, made some signings, and on paper it looks as if they have improved. The Bills have beaten them the last seven times. Seven times. Eight out of nine times, and have swept them three years in a row. The Bills are winning this game. Week four, it's going to be a good game against the Ravens. I spoke about this in my previous video. This will be a very, very back-and-forth game. But at the end of the day, if you compare the Ravens' wide receiver core compared to the Bills, the Bills' core wipes. I also think that the Bills' defense will be getting more stops on the Ravens' offense rather than the Ravens' defense getting more stops on the Bills' offense. So, another Bills W. Week 5 at home against the Steelers. Now, even though the Steelers upset the Bills in Week 1 last year, listen to this perspective that I'm about to paint. Josh Allen is a starting quarterback of the Buffalo Bills, and last year, Mitch Trubisky was the backup quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. In this game, Josh Allen will be going throw for throw against his last year's backup. Unless Kenny Pickett starts, but still, Josh ain't losing to no rookie. Week 6, Kansas in Kansas. The game that Josh Allen probably has a date memorized in his head. That's how bad he wants to win this game. Obviously, we know his history in Kansas is not the brightest, but with Tyreek gone, that gives Mahomes one less bailout option. So again, Bills Mafia, stand up because right now you're 6-0. Week 7 is the Bills bye week, and like I just said, I have the Bills 6-0 up to this point. Week 8, coming back from the bye at home against the Packers. Now, the momentum in Buffalo is at an all-time high. You're 6-0. You just beat the Chiefs at Arrowhead. Coming back from the bye at home, the world is surely expecting Josh Allen to beat the Packers. Knock, knock. Aaron Rodgers will be ruining your party and stumping the Bills to give him the first loss of the season because Aaron Rodgers is still that guy in the regular season, at least. Week 9, the Bills play the Jets. Easy dubs. Week 10, they play the Vikings. I really want to give Minnesota an upset win here, and I actually am. It's NFC North fever this year for Buffalo, and the Vikings will be handing them their second loss of the season. Week 11, the Bills versus the right off season Browns. So, easy dub. Week 12, Bills versus Lions. <laughs> Week 13, playing the Patriots in Gillette Stadium. You just cannot ignore that playoff game last year, but it is in the playoffs. It's the regular season. And at this point in time, the Bills would have lost two of their last four. A lot of film for Bill Belichick to pick from. And if there's going to be a person who can snag one from you on an anything-can-happen primetime game, it's going to be Bill. Week 14, Bills versus Jets. It's a divisional rival game, but I mean, this late in the season, the Bills will be polished up. So, another dub. Week 15 versus the Dolphins. This game is in New York, and I feel like this game is going to be a one-score game. However, when it's a tight game, most often than not, the better quarterback always comes out on top. And in this case... It's Josh Allen versus Tua, so that means, yes, Buffalo is sweeping Miami for the fourth season in a row. Week 16 versus the Bears. The Bears literally suck so bad it hurts my brain at times, so easy Bills win. 
Week 17, a very interesting game against the Bengals, a primetime game, in fact, in Ohio as well. I mean, let's be realistic here. You can go either way. Both quarterbacks are able to get this win. Both quarterbacks are able to have a big comeback. Both quarterbacks are just extremely good at football. So in this case, I'm rolling with the home team. Bengals win, Buffalo loss. Week 18, the Bills play the Patriots, and just like last year, the Bills will polish up against the Patriots and finish their season off on a dub that means i have the bills going 13 4 on the year is this their year there's a lot of good afc teams hunting for that super bowl but josh allen's hurdles are just so prestigious that it's hard not to root for them that's it for me thanks for watching stay tuned for next video where i'll be predicting the carolina panthers take care